Okay, I've got this parcel today and I'm going to open it. It's a should be a Star Trek Mego figure from about 1979. Um, so, it's one of the alien figures. So, a couple of months ago I got the Xanarite and this is, should be the Actorian. And I've got the Klingon coming, so that would be half of the six figures in that line. And they're quite rare, these figures, or quite highly sought. I mean, the figures like Spock and Kirk, they're pretty common, but the alien figures are pretty rare. And Car did, they go for a lot of money. This will be UKG graded loose. Uh, I think this one's an 80. So, let's see what we've got. Open it with one hand. I don't want to show the address on the other side. Let's just rip it. So there we are. See the UKG grading there. So, it's quite a cool looking figure from 1979, Mego, Arturian, Star Trek from the motion picture. So these aliens are in the sort of background when Kirk addresses the Enterprise crew, some of these characters were there. Here's the Star Trek Arturian from Mego 1979, one of the six alien figures, pretty cool. Now at the moment I've got two, and I've got the Klingon on the way, so give me half the collection. Very much like a Star Wars figure. Five points of articulation, swivel head, shoulders and hips. The Arcturian. Here's the back of his head. Made in Hong Kong. Cool looking figure. Star Trek Arcturian 1979 Mego. Figure gets 80% paint, 80%. UK graders. Better look at that. So it's got a kind of a lot of folded skin on his face. It's almost like it's melting on, above on his head. There's a 12 inch version of this figure as well. Nice looking figure. So the Arcturian from Star Trek Mego. Aliens 1979 from the motion picture. Cool looking figure. Really nice. Cool looking figure. Star Trek Acturian. Cool looking figure. Star Trek Acturian from 1979. Great looking figure. Brown boots, yellow jumpsuit, flared at the bottom, tighter at the top. There's his face. Cool looking figure. 1979 Mego. Looking figure this from 1979 Acturian. Cool looking figure. Brown boots. Red trim on his costume. Nice buckle. Nice little badge. Cool looking figure. Star Trek Acturian 1979. 80%. 
cool looking figure from Star Trek the motion picture I'll go get the Xanarite and put them together so you can see those two together what is the connection between what Pink Floyd and Winning the Willows okay what is the connection is it the first album Uh, is it a song on the first album? What is it then? It is the first album, so you've got to tell me what about the first album. Is all the songs based on, inspired by the Wind in the Willows? Or what? Here's the Arcturian with the Xanarite. So both of these are two of the Star Trek, the motion picture aliens. And there's four more to collect. There's the Klingon, Beta Geysian, Rygit Jellion, and a couple more. So, or one more. Megarite. But these are cool figures, man. From 1979. So the Xanarite's graded uh, 75. Really nice looking figure. And then the Arcturian is 80. Two cool figures. I'm probably going to try and get all six of the alien figures, they're just so cool. And Star Wars stuff is so expensive these days, whereas Star Trek, this sort of stuff's not a bit more affordable. And the, soon I'll have the Klingon, that might come tomorrow or Thursday. Thursday I'm going to the Star Wars Identities ex Exhibition, so that should be pretty cool. And I'll get a lot of footage from there. But this is really nice to see there's one video on YouTube about these eight figures he's got three of them together he's got the Xanarite, the Klingon and the Rygelian so this is the Acturian, this is probably the first time he's been on YouTube rare figure so Mego 1979 Acturian really nice figure and then you've got the Xanarite two great figures you can see there's some wear to the face. I think there should be more silver on the face in the lower jaw. That's worn away, hence it only gets a 75. There's the hands. Hands look quite human. Six other figures in this line. One called a Beta Geysian. So, probably uh, would. Um, oh, it's naming to. Um, Douglas Adams, or is it Douglas Adams who wrote, uh, what do you call it, Hitchhiker's Guide, there's also uh, the Klingon, the Meagorite, and a few others, so there's six in the line, and they're all pretty tough to find, especially carded, and they go for a lot more than the main characters like Kirk, Spock, and all of them lot, so... Very nice figure, really nice head, sculpt, could easily be mistaken for a Star Wars figure, a character from Bespin maybe, so 1979 Star Trek Zaranite, really nice figure. Cool looking figure. Here's the Xanarite from behind. It's got a little backpack on or a uh, piece of his costume. Flared trousers and then the Acturian. Made in, both made in Hong Kong. You can see the back of his head, sort of very scaly. Very cool figures. Nice. Very pleased with these two. I'll be getting the Klingon soon, so I'll put all three together when I get the Klingon. And plus, I'll review the Klingon. Okay, so that's UKG 80, the Xanarite 75. Both by Mego, two of the rarer alien figures from the motion picture series. And once I've got the Klingon, that'll be half, the, half of them then it's just three more to collect okay so 
really nice figures. Good look at the Xanarite, I mean Acturian from Star Trek The Motion Picture. Cool looking figure. You can see his head, body, costume. 1979 figure. So 40, 38 years old now. Not bad. And these were only sold in Canada and Italy. They weren't sold in the US. They, you could get, uh, I think you could get a three pack of three of the figures though in, in the US. A Sears pack. So there you go. It's a really nice looking figure. Pleased I got him today. Won him on Sunday night on eBay. Cool figure. Oh, won the Klingon as well. He'll be coming probably tomorrow or um, Thursday or Friday. Cool looking figure though. Arcturian or Arcturian. Keep forgetting to pronounce the R. There's some of these carded on eBay. But they cost a lot more than the loose figures. Nice looking figure. Star Trek the motion picture, Arcturian. Cool little figure. I like these rare figures. Okay. So cheers, bye. Do you know the story? Have you read the book? Uh, I'm not sure. I have. Maybe years ago. Yeah. But it's Piper at the Gates of Dawn and it's. Uh, a chapter from the story Wind in the Willows, yeah? That's okay. Right.